Welcome back everyone to the Bourbon Judge. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, a couple of days till Turkey Day, so hopefully everyone's gonna be able to celebrate uh, Thanksgiving with family, friends, and whomever. Um, but today we're gonna go ahead and get into a little bit of uh, bourbon. So today we're gonna go ahead and review Four Roses. So Four Roses Bourbon, and this is a single barrel. Um, some of the viewers asked, hey, hey Bourbon Judge, can you review a Four Roses, either a single barrel, or it's just Four Roses in general. I wanna kinda get a good feel for it. So we're gonna review that today. So. Uh, a couple of things about Four Roses. So they make uh, their own Four Roses branded bourbon. They have a small batch, uh, small batch select, which is like a blend of a couple of different recipes, um, single barrel. And throughout the year, they, they've had like different type of uh, varieties that they produced. Uh, most recently for this year, they have the 30th anniversary, which I think retails for like three or $400. So, but uh, my pockets are saying no three or $400. I'm going to save my money. I'm going to go ahead and review this uh, single barrel. So this one you could find anywhere from 45 to 55 dollars like anything else folks kind of depends on where you live right uh, but i found this i think it's like 50 dollars uh, on the dot actually so not too bad right doesn't hurt the wallet too bad a um, couple interesting things about four roses so they started obviously at kentucky distillery back in the 1800s but after prohibition they started back up they actually uh, produced bourbon. They were selling bourbon like nobody's business, I mean, from the 30s through the 50s. And then when they were purchased by the Seagram's company um, in the 50s, Seagram's decided to stop selling Four Roses bourbon in the US and they only sold it in Europe and Asia, primarily in Japan. Um, so literally for like 45 years from like the late 50s until 2000, 2002, there was no Four Roses bourbon uh, being sold in the US. You had to go to Europe or Asia to Japan to, to find it. Um, but now, luckily, they're selling it in the US, so um, it's available to us, right? Which is great. Uh, let me kind of go ahead and get into the nose a little bit here. Hmm, I like that. Let me, let me just pour a little bit more. I have a little bit in the glass there. Uh, so Four Roses, they have almost like a craft approach, meaning that they um, they add like different types of yeast strains to kind of enhance the flavor uh, and enhance the overall profile as a whole. So it's not always like the traditional bourbon, if you will. It changes the approach a little bit based off of the different yeast strains that they decide to use. So let me kind of go ahead and get into the nose a little bit here. All right. So one thing that Four Roses does is that they do a good job of with their different yeast strains. You pick up a lot. Wow. Different, like, very floral, almost like a rose. I smell some rose in the nose. I also get a little bit of uh, vanilla and caramel. Even also some clove as well. So very floral, very just, you know, light and almost elegant right which you don't really say that about bourbon too often but it's a very light elegant type of a bourbon very different than the traditional bourbon right that's sometimes very bold and flavorful all right let's go ahead and get into the taste right the best thing we love about bourbon let's taste it all right so at 100 proof very smooth clean neat that floral does come through very like soft and elegant again. Um, a little bit of the butterscotch and honey and vanilla, but not a ton actually. It's more, I, I taste more like earthy, very, um, but very soft earthy, right? Like very floral, a lot of the clove. Um, very unique, very different from, from, from most bourbons. You get a little bit more of this. Wow. As it was kind of going around in my mouth, the number one thing that kind of stood out was like that very light, soft notes of like floral and so forth. So that goes all the way through from the nose, all the way through the palate, which is very unique. So a different type of a bourbon, definitely different. Um, I think I, if I didn't mention it, I just wanted to make sure that I tell you guys, Four Roses, you can, for the most part, kind of find this almost anywhere. Um, you may not find a single barrel. You may have to search a little bit for that, but it's not too, too hard to find. So you always ask, Bourbon Judge, is this one that I should buy? Do I leave on the shelf? Um, and my brain, you know, for my home collection and that way I can, you know, hopefully enjoy it a little bit and uh, share with some friends and family members. The verdict is in. This, I'm going to say, is a split decision. So I'm going to tell you the reason why. I'm glad I bought this. It's very nice. It's different. 
if you're looking for a different type of a bourbon that uh, isn't like the traditional uh, caramel honey or isn't like that full proof that kind of knocks you out and just like kind of goes down like real like you know almost like a um, like you feel it as it goes down right this is not that this is a very soft smooth bourbon even at a hundred proof and being the fact that they add these different yeast strains that enhances the flavor as I mentioned with this one, it has like that floral aspect to it. It's different, it's unique. So I said it's a split decision because while I typically prefer a higher proof bourbon, um, this one is very nice, it's very unique, and it's different. So it's one that I do plan on sharing with my friends. It's not one I'm gonna brag about, but it's one that I definitely think my friends should try because I do think it's very, it's, it's different as a whole. And I, I like things that are different, right? Um, you have to step outside of the box once in a while. So definitely think it's worth a buy. Uh, but if you truly only prefer like stronger proof bourbons, like 110, 118, 120, like the whole barrel proof concept, maybe this is not for you. But uh, I think it's worth adding to the collection if you're open to trying a different type of a bourbon. So with that, folks, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. I hope you enjoyed today's video and we'll talk to you soon. See ya. Not bad though.